very good evening my friends how are you i hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is salah speaking of course before we go to the weekly analysis we have to talk about the signals they are doing really very well and i'm very proud of what angela has done for this week even the clients themselves are really happy and i have seen the message messages from them and they are actually quite satisfied with the results very good results as you can see the winning ratio is very high the total pips earned for this week is 1050 pips uh, i admit guys before that let me just show you here these scores are really outstanding now i wanted to, i wanted to tell you that i admit it's not possible for everyone to get the same results here total pips of uh, 1050 pips this is maybe very hard to get for everyone because we have take profit one and two and three the thing I need to explain to you that we are giving you three targets for the signal if the target has been reached for example if take profit three has been reached then we we have the credit to put this in our score I know not everyone might get it some people they can just get for TP, uh, TP1 or TP2 and get out of the trade that's normal but if the candle or if the market has reached take profit three then we have the right to put it in our signal score because we said that the market should go until take profit three and the market has reached that level therefore we deserve to put this in our results so i'm hearing a lot of complaints about this part but in general uh, the signals are doing good and even if you just accept take profit one you will be fine and i'm very proud of these signals again if you wish to join the premium signals group you can contact angela and you can find her contact details on telegram in the description of the video so now let's talk about the weekly analysis let's go to the euro usd as usual and let me tell you something for the euro usd i am right now on the daily chart and what we are seeing on the daily chart is a major drop for the euro usd especially last friday I believe this was because of the NFP news happened on last Friday at 12.30 p.m. GMT time and you can see the drop it was really uh, strong bearish momentum so what I'm thinking is the market will reach this support level we can see here on the euro USD on daily chart we can see this very strong support level here and not only that we can see how the market was in general ranging on the same support level also even the support level it kept the position and remained as another support after this bullish breakout candle so in other words this support level is very strong not only that but we can see the market was not able to break from this support zone so the market is bouncing at this level that's why i don't think the market will go down at all what i'm seeing for the euro usd that it will come down maybe a little bit to hit the support level and then it's gonna go and bounce up again to hit this resistance level on 1.14010 so i believe the euro usd should be good for buy on this level of 1.11867 and we can start buying the euro usd and keep the position until the pair reach this resistance and then we can see what will gonna happen most likely what will gonna happen is the bouncing will happen again and the pair will continue to go down because we have here a really strong support uh, sorry a, a strong resistance so anyway again uh, euro usd is good for buy from this support level let's now go to the pound usd again the same thing happened for the pound usd on daily chart it's approaching also the same thing of a very strong support level and the right way to draw the, the support line is actually like that now just let me tell you the reason why did I draw my support line like that because I know uh, a lot of uh, traders also the beginners they want to know how to draw the support or the resistance lines to be very accurate on the point look here guys we can see that we had here a bounce uh, consisting of three candles the first one having a long tail at its bottom the other one having just two bodies closed little bit below the support line so based on my strategy or how on how to draw the support or resistance line we need to draw it in a way touching all of the wicks for example look at this resistance the right way to draw the support or resistance line here will be not on the top of it not at the closing price of it it will be in a way touching all of the wicks here including the shortest one 
So we can see the shortest week here. So I will draw my line like that. So this is the right way to draw my resistance line because it's touching the top of every single week of them. So let me now delete it and go back to the subject. I draw my support line like that. And we can see what happened later. Uh, this support level kept the position as another support. And we can see how the market closed last Friday. It also made bounce and the candle closed above this support level. So what will gonna happen now? I believe the market will go down a little bit to make another attempt of this support and then it should continue to go more up. Again, it will continue to go until it hit this resistance level. So I believe the pound USD should be good for buy starting from this point of 1.25082 and you can keep your position until, let me tell you, just to be more safe, you can keep your position until this level of 1.27075 that should be approximately of 200 pips of profit which is more than fine and that is what i believe is going to happen for the pound usd it's going to bounce on the support let's go to the aud usd now for the aud usd also what we can see happening here is a double a double bottom let me just found it here we can see double bottom has been occurred on the AUD USD and we have this support level on daily chart as well. So this support level, look at right, look at what happened next. Look what happened. This support, it kept the position as a support as well. And then after finishing the performing the pattern of double bottoms, again we can see the bounce on this resistance, and again again this support it kept the, the position of its level meaning the support was here and here and here meaning this is a very strong support level and again AUD USD I think it's bouncing to go more up and we can tell that by seeing how this candle closed above this level we can see let me tell you what I'm seeing with this the thing I'm seeing in this candle is there was a bouncing meaning there was a rejection on breaking this level meaning the candle has tried to reach this support level here and in the end it bounced back and closed as that meaning this level is showing a lot of uh, strength on the support level that's why I believe the AUD USD should continue to go more up until it hit this resistance again the top of this resistance and what's helping to tell me this is seeing these double uh, double bottom appeared so again uh, AUD USD should be good for buy uh, it's fair to say almost immediately we can say immediately we can see we have to wait to see how the market will open uh, actually within few hours Monday morning but I believe it will open uh, below this level and then it will bounce again it should be good for buy from the level 0 0.69651 and you can keep your position until the level of 0 0.70607 let's go now to the USD CAD from the USD CAD Actually, I have been thinking about the USD CAD for quite a long time. The thing I'm seeing here is somehow a breakout from this support. Look at that, my friends. Let's trace the USD CAD from the beginning. First, we had here a support level, which has been later broken out and became the new resistance. The same level of the resistance has become also a new support. Also, it kept the support on second attempt also on the third attempt but in the end what happened the market went up right here on this resistance and the candle closed exactly on this line it didn't close even below it or above it it closed exactly on the support level meaning we need to wait to see what will gonna happen for the USD CAD we cannot decide anything right now because it's showing a reversal on this support level however also we can see here a breakout candle and what we are what I am seeing is uh, making an, another attempt from this level so this is the four hour chart this price action is showing a strength level of a resistance and therefore I believe the reversal is gonna happen and the pair will continue to go more down but we need to wait and see what will gonna happen how the market will open on Monday so let me let me put the two scenarios here shall, shall we okay let's go back to the daily chart 
we have to wait to see how the market will open on Monday as I told you so the thing you need to wait is if you see the market will continue to go more up here then start sell USD CAD sorry sell if the market will approach this resistance level again then I think it will be safe to start selling the USD CAD however if the market will go, will go down and let's assume that the market will open below this level then USD CAD should be go, uh, good for buy on the same level of the support because here we can see there is a support number one and therefore if the market will reach this level then the USD CAD should be good for buy on the support number two and remember I'm on the daily chart meaning we have to be careful of what option we are choosing we need to wait to see how the market will open so in both scenarios I am aiming approximately 80 pips from here because I, I forgot to tell you if you sell here let's assume that you sold on this resistance then you need to keep your position until the nearest support or resistance which is right here so if you enter with the sell order on this resistance keep the position until the market hit the support level that should be a good about 80 pips I think yeah almost 80 pips now in case you placed buy on this support right here on 1.0 sorry 1.30136 then you can keep your position only until this level here because this is the nearest support that should be approximately 63 pips of profit so again we have to wait to see how the market will open again this candle is confusing and it has a lot of meanings but we cannot decide anything yet we need to wait to st we need to wait to see how the market will open let me get rid of that now let's jump to the USDGPY USDGPY is showing a lot of signs for bullish reversal the reason is we can see the strong bounce on the support level right here so what happened here we can see the support made a bounce here and also it kept the position here even with this fake breakout the market tried to go below this level and but in the end it uh, it was able to go up again and this support it kept the position as a support and this is strong bullish candle was enough to prove that this level is strong and especially that the market has closed Friday night with this uh, price action so what will gonna happen now for the USDGPY let's go to the daily chart again we stay on the daily chart uh, let me tell you what will gonna happen most likely let me just be accurate right here exactly what I believe is gonna happen that after this bullish breakout candle the market will go down a little bit to retest this level of the support and then it will continue to fly more up now the thing is we need to wait to see what will gonna happen to for the USD the USD and the gold they are very sensitive for this week my friends but the price action and the techni technical analysis telling us that the candle should actually go down here and I believe the market will open Friday, uh, Monday morning with the candle below this resistance meaning somewhere here it should be good for buy and we can keep the positions uh, with the buy order safely until it hit this resistance on almost uh, let's say 110.510 that should be really good for buy I don't think USDGPY going down at all it is definitely going down uh, sorry going up let's say that the market will continue to go more down it will it won't hold the position for a long time it will not go down for uh, quite long time maximum will be until the support level right here maximum I don't think it will go lower than that so in all all in all we can buy the USD GPY from this level right here we can expect the market to go a, lit a little bit more down until this level but from here I'm actually 100% sure that the USD GPY should continue to go more up USD GPY yeah. so be careful with your trade if you place buy on this level and I believe that you can set your stop loss somewhere right here if you insist to use stop loss which I usually don't uh, use actually so again USD GPY is good for buy from 108.151 possibly will go down until 107.647 you can keep the position until it reach the level 110 
let's now go to the USDCHF. USDCHF is showing similar uh, setups. We can, we can see here that the market closed as a very strong bullish candle and the market is ex expected to retest the broken support on this level. Let me show you. I believe the support level should be right. Um, just let me be accurate and tell you the right level should be right here. Yes, exactly. So this is the level where the support uh, has been breaking out and we can see, sorry, did I say support? I meant resistance here. So this resistance has been broken out by this bullish breakout candle and the market is expected to go down a little bit to reach this support level. After that, it will continue to go more up until it hit this resistance level. Again, the same thing about the USDGPY, we can apply it on the USDCHF. Uh, I told you we can buy here, right? But there is a possibility that the market will continue to go more down until it hit the support level. I don't believe it will go below than that. Uh, I see it not possible to be honest unless there was some news or if Mr. Trump made some tweet or something but in general the USDCHF should be good for buy from this level 0 0.98892 possibly will continue to go more down until this level of 0 0.98446 but in the end should be good for buy uh, at this level and we can keep the position until the candles reach this resistance on 0 0.9942 that should be good for approximately 100 pips and if the market will continue to go more down if you place another buy maybe you will get about 150 pips of profit now let's go to the real fun gold which i also and i will say that in every video i don't really trade gold i don't like it uh, again, uh, gold is very sensitive for the news and trading gold uh, is not something I'm really uh, having fun with. But in general, let me tell you, the gold is expected to go a little bit more down, sorry, uh, more up until it hit this resistance level. Because what we are seeing, this was a support has been broken out by this bullish breakout candle. We can see how the market closed last Friday. We can see that the candle has made a rejection here and couldn't break from this level and the market closed as a pin bar and it usually shouldn't uh, indicate for a, a bearish reversal. But I don't think this is going to happen. Uh, the USDGP, uh, sorry, the, the gold having a strong support level right here. Therefore, I believe the market will continue to go more up and it will hit this resistance. Let me tell you something. If the gold will reach this level, let me just uh, delete this one. Uh, you have to wait for the gold to reach this, uh, this resistance. There is a reason. Uh, because we have here a double top has occurred also. Meaning the pattern which we are looking for is something similar to this one. And I should actually make a video talking about the patterns this is the pattern we are looking for and i'm waiting for it to occur on the gold so we can see the same the same uh, half or this part has finished and performed double top has been performed and therefore we can see this level also with, with what you can say head and shoulders is gonna uh, occur later and that's why I believe that gold, the gold should somehow continue to go more up, hitting this level, so it will bounce on the same level of the resistance, and from this level should be good for sell. That is what I believe is going to happen for the gold. Um, we have to be careful. Please don't place any sell orders on the gold until it reaches this level here of the resistance. If it does, then should be good for sell. Uh, that will be on 1410 uh, one, one Point fifty-seven, and we can keep the position if you want to be safe we can keep the position until it hit this previous support level here which is actually uh, a lot of pips that will be about 214 pips of profit so guys uh, that was my analysis for this week I really hope uh, this week will be very profitable for everyone and yeah that's it I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.